Gage and that 4-1, you've got the Nautilus and the Sejuani just to sit there as a meat shield in front of your massive poke and wave clear coming in from Sibur and Varus. Meanwhile, probably going to have the wave control advantage as the second red buff. Tucson there, but Catch going to eat a chain of corruption. Apple comes in, wild growth onto Catch. Can he actually make it out? I don't think so. And that is a very important kill for Hello. Incredible Miracle oh. as the first blood goes to now TP advantage to Apple. Are they going to go for this? Vivid draws a depth charge. Hook oh. misses. Well, they lose interest on Vivid. They must have the time, but they catch, catch, actually. Falls down super low, but able to tunnel away. We knew that Vivid will fall down, but they don't get catch as well. One kill for a dragon. Probably take it if you spend it. I think you definitely do right now. Frozen actually, Soul coming over the wall with the flash. It's for them to control this dragon area, just push in with reckless abandon. There's the ultimate though, Vivid's caught. He's gonna die in the front line. Will they get onto Nuka? They actually use flash for it. Two members flashing in. Tucson tanking the turret. One more auto, he'll fall down. Cancels the auto that would have killed Tucson, and they don't even take down the Sejuani. Still double kill right there for Roar, finally. Catch with a Prey Seeker will finish off Tucson. Split up the Juggermaw as best they're able and keep the tank away from this. Here's a dive going down. Catches in the back alongside Vivid, but Frozen's kiting this out. Twisted advance onto Frozen. He gets popped in the backside. Apple's here, however, chasing him up, gets punted out. But the Kogma and the Lulu are dead. Tucson here now, no ultimate. Chasing down Soul. Here comes On Roar. The on the hunts used, they're gonna just follow on to Soul. Twisted advance to the Scuttle Crab and a flash will open up enough space. It's a two for two trade. Even through a wild growth, even through the shields. So it's become a lot more challenging. Here we go. There's the slow. Kogma still up, however. Unbreakable will goes down for the Alistair. They're focusing the Alistair down anyway. Tucson gets in front, wild growth. A little bit wasted right there, actually. They need that wild growth if they want to re engage. Goodbye, catch, catch. Gets caught. He's dead. And where's the follow-up? Can they get Sauce in as well? There's a wild growth. TP coming in from the side. Frozen snags one. Apple showing just how bad Vladimir with TP is. Thank you. Yeah, even with the on the hunt, nothing you can do. No Rylize for any sort of pick potential. Do LZIM want to back off towards the Baron? Do they just want to keep pushing? The pushing option seems the safer one. And what is Spenu to do? Lulu's completely out of the fight. Well, they can poke from the backside with this Trinity Force. Tucson getting caught out a little bit. He's going to go down to the Kogma. Actually, Vivid takes the kill in the end, but now they're able to push back just a little bit. Roar on the side. Roar very low, and he's getting poked out. There's the Whimsy Kogma. He's on to Roar still, and Roar forces the flash. No mana on the nuclear sidesteps, and he gets surrounded after over-pursuing. Kill for Apple. Went too far in, of course, had the whimsy, felt the kill, which is in the area, but there's so much CC that how do you actually even get in range? Yeah, there you go. Easy Baron completed catch, tied up with the depth charge. Chain of Corruption already onto Soul. They're turning onto him right now. Soul has no backup and eventually dies in the middle of the melee from Incredible Miracle. That'll be one kill. Down, if you're Vitamir, to justify again Absolutely. another poor teleport. You can TP if things start to go badly. Catch coming in, he's got to get the knockup. There's the TP from Vladimir. Vivid in the middle getting a big, big knockup. And look at the Hemo Plague on the back line from Apple. Apple just going nuts as the team commits to that engagement. Double kill for Frozen, ace courtesy of Roar. And now they get the fight they needed. And Apple could have waited for that one on the last one as well. They still get the big team fight victory and they push forward. They should be able to take the game. Yeah, look, they had to wait for an engage from the enemy teams to not proactive play once again, but at least they were smart in returning the Vladimir bot, forcing in an engage from the Rex side that could only go poorly. They're tanking it up a lot. We're not that late in the game, but with four members, they should be able to finally finish out this series after what was a very dire straits for them in the middle of game two. Yeah, barely eking this one out. Two seconds left on nuclear. It's not going to be enough. There's the GG. I am wins the series two to one. Just snatches it out right at the end. I'm glad to see a decisive team fight at long last, but man, I am 
They really have to learn a lot about that juggling act in terms of turning on the heat and closing a game. And familiar problems reared their he head for IM. Very much the same IM that were narrowly pipped out by KT Rolster. Finally overpowering a spender line. It's going to be happy to register their first victory. The Juggermore, it didn't work. The mid-game comp in game two didn't work either. The moment that IM moved towards the Sejuani, he moved towards the hard engage, Spano just didn't really look like they had a window into winning a game. Yeah, that's right. Well, there it is. Win for IM after that last one. And a nice game from Tucson, too. And